Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Kenny Baker, the British actor who gave life to the droid R2-D2 in the Star Wars films, has died at the age of 81. Baker was being cared for by family who found him deceased Saturday morning. Baker had been ill for years with a lung condition. A spokesperson for the family also said Baker, who was 3 feet 8 inches tall, did not expect to live past his teenage years because he was a, quote, little person, unquote. So it's pretty amazing he lived this long. Baker died in his sleep Saturday morning, according to his nephew and caregiver, Andrew Myerskoff. That was Baker's wish to go peacefully, his nephew said. I couldn't have asked for more. Rest in peace, Kenny Baker. NBC spent $1.2 billion for the rights to wear this summer's Olympics. So far, they have a lot of unhappy viewers to show for it. Fans are blasting NBC for its delayed, US-centric, and out-of-touch coverage of the games in Rio. The network is being ridiculed for its disproportionate focus on sports such as swimming and gymnastics, overt focus on American success stories, and occasionally sexist comments from announcers and analysts. On NBC's Olympic page on Facebook, viewers are calling it terrible and the worst Olympics coverage I've ever seen. For for example, NBC Gymnastics announcer Al Troutwig suggested that gold medalist Simone Biles' adoptive parents were not her real parents. Ouch! Troutwig apologized the following day. Also, after Hungarian swimmer Katinka Hotsu set a world record in the women's 400-meter individual medley, NBC sportscaster Dan Hicks said her husband and coach Shane Tusup was responsible for her success. Nice work. Work, fellas. Nice work. Disney's new movie, Pete's Dragon, is now in theaters. Just make sure you go to the right theater when you see it. Today, Disney proudly presents Pete's Dragon. Not to be confused with another film also out today, Pete's Dragon. Pete's Dragon is about a boy named Pete who lives with a dragon in the woods. Pete's Dragon is about a guy named Pete who lives with a, quote, dragon, unquote, in his pants. Pete's Dragon is full of family fun. Pete's Dragon is full of women with names like Amber and Crystal who wear lots of mascara and appear slightly dazed. Pete's Dragon can fly. Pete's Dragon fills a fly. Pete's Dragon will make you say hooray. Pete's Dragon will make Ron Jeremy say Ben there, done that. Pete's Dragon stars Robert Redford. Pete's Dragon also stars a wrinkly old sack, so no change there. Pete's Dragon will prove that dreams can come true. Pete's Dragon will prove that mom's dreams can come true. Pete's Dragon, in theaters now. Parents, please, make sure you take your kid to the right one. Sausage Party also hit theaters this weekend. I was a little confused about that. When I first heard the title, I thought they were talking about Donald Trump's team of economic advisors. The studio expects to lose so much money on the all-female reboot of Ghostbusters that it's canceled plans for the sequel. They'll now try Ghostbusters vs. Batman vs. Superman. Apparently on the set of their latest movie, Dwayne Johnson and Vin Diesel aren't getting along. Come on guys, let bygones be bygones and let biceps be biceps, I guess. Swimmer Michael Phelps really had to adjust his training to stay competitive at age 31. This included endurance training, a healthy diet, and switching from Acapulco Gold to Hindu Kush. Nobody can explain why they allowed two-time drug cheater Russia's Yulia Efimova back in the Olympics. But then I can't figure out why they give numbers to the two beach volleyball players. Donald Trump is not backing off those wild claims he made earlier this week. He keeps on saying that President Obama is the founder of ISIS and that Hillary Clinton is responsible for Ghostbusters. Meanwhile, Hillary Clinton wants to put an extra tax on people making over $5 million a year, or as Trump calls them, the lower middle class. 
Archaeologists in Greece say they've discovered rare evidence of an ancient human sacrifice. An unfortunate man was offered up to bring success to the rest of the people. You know, kind of like what the Democrats did with Bernie Sanders. New medical research finds that the solution to improving the nation's health may lie in helping it sleep better. This news update brought to you by Bill Cosby. Time for Nobody Gives a F***. Jeff Foxworthy and Larry the Cable Guy are doing a special for Netflix. So, great news for white people who are eager to have their intelligence insulted. Hey, rednecks, nobody gives a f***. Kendall Jenner has revealed she has a new boyfriend. Yes, he's a Nobel Prize winning scientist working to cure famine in Africa. Psych! He's a terrible rapper who spends all his free time taking selfies from his Rolls Royce. Hey, fame whore, nobody gives a f***. And Amazon founder Jeff Bezos joined a Pentagon advisory board, which explains why a drone just destroyed your local Barnes and Noble. Hey, rich bald guy, nobody gives a f***. Thanks, everybody. Be sure to check out NSS Live, starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity talk panel featuring hockey legend Phil Esposito every Tuesday and Thursday right here on NSS.